My name is Victoria Kelly. I am Director of Research at UCA and I am Professor of the History of Design and Material Culture. So a PhD or a research degree is the highest level of, of uh, qualification. So it's above a BA, it's above an MA, it's the top of the hierarchy. It's based on your own individual research project. So it's for you to develop the skills, um, to be a researcher who can function on your own in a self-directed way in a variety of different settings. So it's a bit like an apprenticeship in research. What you do is, is come in with a, a research proposal. You follow that um, with the support of your supervisors. Um, and you show that you can direct, you can manage, you can plan that research project and make an original contribution to your field through that. At UCA we're a creative art and design university and we uh, offer research degrees in, in all of the subject areas that we, that we cover really. So that's architecture, uh, business school for the creative industries, crafts and design, fashion, fine art, photography and visual communication and film, media and performing arts. We can supervise PhD students in, in all of those areas. What we do is to match a PhD student with a supervisor who has expert knowledge in their field. So UCA has research expertise and high level researchers working in lots of different areas. A particular focus is our research centres. We have the Craft Study Centre, the International Textiles Research Centre, the Centre for Sustainable Design, the Fine Art and Photography Research Centre and the Animation Research Centre. The more traditional way of doing a PhD is to produce a written outcome, so to produce a thesis, which is usually around 80,000 words in length. UCA have long delivered research degrees which are practice-based. For a practice-based PhD, you would be uh, producing a written thesis, but it would be quite a lot shorter in length, probably a minimum of about 30,000 words. You would also be submitting um, a really substantial body of creative practice as well. So what we often find with PhD students who come to us, their motivation for doing the PhD is that they've, they've completed a BA, they've done an MA, perhaps they've been working for a few years. They still have a hunger, there's still some unfinished business, some sense that they want to go further into their subject. If you want to do a PhD, I'd suggest that you need that curiosity, you need that hunger, you need that, uh, that, that energy to put into um, developing, planning and executing your own research project. And we have a very long history and a great track record, particularly in practice-based PhDs. So if you're, you're researching an area of creative practice within the context of PhD study, then, then UCA has been one of the leading universities in, in that area for quite some time. Written-only thesis, great to do that in an art and design setting as well, where there are practice-based students around you. You're in amongst the practice and, and that's, that's a, a great context in which to be pursuing a written investigation. We have a really lively community of researchers. As a PhD student then you're part of an academic community which also includes um, our staff as well. They're at the leading edge of, of their discipline. The role of the research supervisor is to support, to guide and to advise the student through the execution of their research project. I think most supervisors will find that there is a, a delightful moment that happens maybe about halfway through the PhD process where suddenly they've started off as the expert but suddenly the student knows more about the subject than they do. The student's knowledge has outstripped their own in this particular subject. I think it's really worth saying that a PhD is a great qualification for showing employers that you've got the ability to uh, pursue a project at a high level and in detail, that you've got project management skills, um, that you've got the ability to, to really push a project through from beginning to end. Often our PhD students come to us and they say that they have a sense of, of unfinished business. They have that sense of now wanting to, to shape the discipline and to make a really original contribution to it. So the criteria on which you're examined in a PhD, the first is that you produce some high level and original knowledge. You also have to show that you can pursue a systematic inquiry. And the final criteria um, is that you show that you can use appropriate research methods and methodologies. And in order to pass your PhD, you have to show that you have the ability to do that. You've got the right knowledge and the right skills.